Welcome for this presentation to the conference EGOPV. My name is Giselle Benato and I will present to you the, co the presentation called Operational Lifetime of Large-Scale Fast Manufactured Vacuum and ITO-Free Devices with Different Electrodes. I'm from uh, the Technical University of Denmark, from the Department of Energy Conversion and Storage. A short introduction about the advantage of organic photovoltaics. Uh, it's one of the third generation uh, of photovoltaic uh, devices. Uh, it has the advantage to be fast and low energy demanding uh, manufactured. Um, uh, the manufacturer also don't require don't require vacuum, no clean room, no high temperatures to be produced. Uh, the installation is very fast, actually the fastest in all PV technology. And consequently, for the fast and low cost manufacturer, we have also low uh, cost per watt. And from all the third generation OPV, is, is the one that has this, uh, the potential to have a safe end of life since they don't have like, high toxicity materials as like cadmium and tellurium. So for energy production in general, it's a very uh, potential way to have a sus really sustainable energy production. So this is our, our the main advantage for this product. Looking at the environmental impact of these modules, why should we have these uh, ITO-free modules? Well, when we use the life cycle assessment tool to assess the environmental impact of, the, uh, of, a, of a device, uh, when we look to in the material inventory, actually we, uh, we observed that 80% of the embedded energy in the materials inventory was corresponding to the ITO, the most common uh, con transparent conducting uh, material used in OPV that is used as the front electrode. This is due this high energy demanding processing for depositing that uses buttering and also requires vacuum and high temperatures. Well, since this bottleneck was detected, the replacement of ITO should lead to a much less energy demanding uh, device. This way, some trials of the replacement of this front electrode was, was made and then replacing with, silver, uh, with a silver grid in a silver-based of PV, the, the inventory, the materials inventory was much more balanced and replacing it again with carbon-based of OPV. We had uh, a device that, was ten that used 10 times less energy to be manufactured we still have a, a very balanced inventory and this lower energy production led to only a few, uh, few months of energy payback time, what is a great advantage for this technology. This way we make it an, an echo design of the, this energy production device. Well, taking a closer look in the front electrode, we can see here that to, to make the only the first electrode of, the, of OPV, you need four steps if, if, you, if we use ITO and it's not a full additive layer. If we use only the P.PSS PCS or silver grid with P.PSS PCS or silver nanowires instead of the ITO, we reduce uh, to three or even two processes uh, for depositing all the layers that are needed for the front electrode. Actually, if we, if you, we use silver nanowires, only one step is needed since, since it can be mixed with the zinc oxide. In this work, I will present uh, samples made with only these two, uh, uh, these two front electrodes based only in P.PSS or silver nanowires since they are the most environmental friendly. Less processes led to, lead to less energy manufa to manufacture the device and then we have also lower 
energy payback times. Looking at the modus architecture, we have here the carbon base module and the silver nanowires module. First, we have the front electrode as the picture, the, as the previous picture, uh, where we have the barrier that is based on a P in a PET foil, P dot PSS and zinc oxide, and in the in the silver nanowires. Uh, module we have the barrier and the zinc oxide mixed with the silver nanowires. The carbon one is followed followed then by active the active layer P dot PSS a carbon carbon bus bar completing the back electrode and in the end with the adhesive and the barrier foil foil for the encapsulation. For the silver nanowires device, it's followed also by active layer P.PSS, and here we have instead of the carbon, we have a silver grid, also followed by the adhesive and a bar barrier for foil. We can see here some pictures of these modules, and I have it here for you to have a better idea of the, of the size. It's a postcard sized module. We do like this to don't have a two big modules and also to have a kind of accelerated test since the edges here are quite short, around one centimeter only. This facilitates the ingression of uh, water, uh, humidity and, uh, and oxygen. That's why the time span of this will be actually shorter than the real one when we have uh, actually large scale like this. These modules are also uh, UV filter free, so we can also evaluate the, the aging provoked by the light. And you also can see in this picture that they are semi transparent. Uh, for short, I will call COPV the carbon based solar cells and silver nanowires OPV the silver nanowires based solar cells. Well, these models were, were submitted to uh, six ISO ISO's conditions and one known ISO's, no compatible with ISO's conditions. Uh, the first ISO condition was D2. The, the modules were submitted to, were put in an oven at 65 degrees Celsius. Uh, D3 uh, is a condition, a dump heat condition where the, the modules are submitted to 65 degrees and 85% relative humidity. Then the light test, light laboratory tests, we had L1 that uh, the modules are exposed to light and to 65 degrees Celsius. Then the ISOs L3, uh, the modules are submitted to light uh, to 85 degrees and 60% relative humidity, controlled humidity. And then the outside tests, we have uh, both uh, ISOs O1 and ISOs O2, they are left outside in the same conditions. The difference is just that the uh, O1 you measure under the solar simulator and O2 you measure under sunlight. And then we have one last and additional condition or the modules were put it in a greenhouse where the relative humidity, even though it varies, it stays much uh, quite high than the, than the uh, ambient one. Uh, the temperature also varies uh, close to the ambient one. And we, you also have the sun illumination uh, attenuated a bit by the, the coverage of the greenhouse. And to all this condition, we had at least four of the samples of each kind in each condition. That is the minimum number of samples that we established to have a, a, a good uh, standard, uh, a good average number for each kind of module. Here I present our NO diagram. Uh, o to OPV, it, it matches uh, several ISOs conditions in order to compare them uh, and also uh, it puts all the, the graphs in the, 
in the same time scale. Here in the x-axis we have an analog of 4 to match the normal time span that matches with hours, days, weeks, etc. And in the Y file uh, we have the initial PC. Uh, we, you can see that the representation of the carbon OPV are uh, red triangles and blue squares for the silver nanowires OPV. Well, for the uh, storage in an oven at 65 degrees, we have similar perform uh, oper operational performance for OPV. You can see here that the markers are established as the initial OPV against the time. So we have markers here that will correspond to 80% of the initial OPV of all the samples. Uh, for the dump heat, we have the, the, the performance of uh, the carbon OPV is much better than the uh, silver nanowires OPV. For the light test, uh, light and heat test, we have a much better performance since we have the access here in a logarithm. We have a much better performance for the silver nanowires OPV and this matches with the uh, uh, with the property of the silver nanowires that, the, that they have the conductivity increased when exposed to light and heat, published uh, recently by Mayus et al. And three, we also have the, this much better performance to the silver nanowires modules. And for O2, we have a, a very uh, different effects here since we can see that the, a batch of the carbon, on, uh, the carbon OPV very different uh, with a very different oper operational performance than another batch of them. This first batch that performed worse, they actually had a very bad quality foil furnished by the same, uh, by the same factory actually that was prone to make these bubbles when exposed to light and heat and uh, ambient conditions. Actually, they also show these, but uh, later than uh, reach the 80% of the performance in the other light tests. Well, the, due to, to this bad quality of the barrier foil, the, the uh, performance of these modules were compromised. But when the quality is uh, when the quality of the foil remains, then the the true oper operational performance can be measured, as is shown here. In the end, uh, I, in the outside conditions, the performance of the silver nanowires OPV and CUPV were around seasons here, with the silver nanowires going two years. In a greenhouse test, even though the humidity there was very high, actually uh, for the carbon nanowires it was even uh, better for them. They, they had the stability performance better than the outside alone. Even though in the, in the other models they were prone to make bubbles in the barrier foil. To look a bit more closer, a bit closer in the IV curves, we can see here in the carbon OPV that we have this increase of current in the dark, in the dark dump heat uh, test, while we don't see these effects in the other tests, here light test and the outside test. And we see that in the outside tests, we actually have an S shape behavior by the end of the test when there is a uh, when the degradation is very advanced two uh, two degradation mechanisms are, are acting here mainly of course there is a uh, uh, a lot of influence in the several in each layer of the solar cell actually we uh, here we distinguish only this one that, as the main ones uh, is the effect of the oxygen and, wa and water ingression uh, into the solar cells. What in the uh, that in the case of COPV, uh, 
we had this current increase in the dump heat and the S-shaped curves in the outside tests. For the silver nano aero PV, then we, ha we have this increase of current in all of them. In this case, uh, also as, as seen for the carbon PV, and here probably because of a disposition to light, as we see that the silver nano wires re react with uh, uh, higher conductivity to light. But in this case, we don't see any S shape, not not even here in the in the outside test as we saw in the carbon nano, in the carbon OPV modules. Well, this can be one of the evidence that we have another degradation mechanism that is slower since the, the stability of the outside tests in the silver nanowires models are better than the COPV. This can be probably because we have less uh, one less layer of P.PSS that is a very hydrophilic layer. Going to the conclusions, we present here uh, the stability performance of two uh, environmental friendly modules where we, we observed that the silver nanowires had a much better stability uh, in, mo in most of the tests with the only exception for the dump heat test with a better stability for the COPV. Even though we, we had a, e even in this postcard that uh, uh, had uh, the operational lifetime minimized since we have the uh, very short edges here. Even though for these modules the stability ha reached the way seasons that it, what is necessary for our application, for example, in a greenhouse. In a, in industrial production, this can be made with uh, safety uh, edges and also with a UV filter that will min minimize the, will prolong the operational lifetime. Uh, we also measure that the, uh, the PCE, the, the current of the, of the modules are increased when the silver nanowires are used in the beginning of the stability test since we have uh, uh, since it was published already this pro property of the silver nanowires to increase the current when they are exposed to light. And we also observed that there was no S-curve S in the silver nanowires devices what, ca uh, what can be due to one less uh, P.PSS layer used to manufacture this module. I would like to acknowledge all my colleagues that contri contribute to this work, mainly my supervisor Frederick Krebs, and thank you very much for your attention.